is up everybody my name is jay legend i am your local manifestation mindset and lifestyle coach on this beautiful youtube platform i create videos on this channel about reprogramming my mindset to my desired lifestyle and my desired reality and i bring each and every one of you guys along with me on that freaking journey on this channel and on this platform and tiktok we are the butterfly gang that is evolving experiencing exists existing and manifesting throughout the beautiful human experience that we all are like uniquely given on this channel i like to promote a lot of that also self-development and self-concept so if you are interested in any of those topics you might as well subscribe from this very moment because you're really going to enjoy this channel and you can just subscribe in this corner or this corner i don't know which side it's going to be but just click the butterfly to join the butterfly community and it's that easy like it's so simple so you might as well subscribe today's video we're going to be talking about something that's really close to my heart because this thing is something that you have to really understand when it comes to manifesting and not only manifesting but bringing your desire to life and allowing it to manifest in front of your face because if you haven't heard already i'm gonna just put you on real quick you are the main character of your reality whether or not you believe in manifestation had any thoughts of it or even think it's real understand that you've been doing it ever since your existence you might not be manifesting things that you wanted per se but you have to understand that you've been manifesting regardless however your circumstance may be your experience may be within however old you are within living in this life and your existence kind of have to understand that that reality you were living in was the reality that you manifested in and the thing is that a lot of people get cut off with is the past of how they were in their life they uh, sometimes allow and most of the time a lot of people struggle with this and it's basically allowing the past to affect the present and i guess you can call future even though the future doesn't exist it's literally just the present one thing we really need to understand and i'm gonna make you guys understand and this is my perception and belief when it comes to the past present future and all that type of stuff like um i'm just giving my point of view so if you agree you agree if you don't that's completely fine i love you still but understand that the present is the present the present is always happening the present is always reoccurring it's all about the present like the present moment is where you find peace comfort joy you know we stress we literally unconcerned and unconsciously stress when it comes to the future and it comes to the past and these are two things that we do so unconsciously when you're doing something unconscious you're not knowing you're doing it so that's why it's really good for us to really deprogram really allow ourselves to really flow within the knowing and the mindset that yeah like it's all about the present the present is what we're made to really believe but we're really we're really programmed within the society that we live in to not think of the present as if it's something that really affects our life because the present is so powerful you guys you hear this in like almost every religion every concept of belief like the present is where you get everything you want but not only get what you want like you got to understand when you're in the present you're all centered with the universe and not only the universe whichever belief you may believe whether it's a denomination of religion when you are like one within self and like when you're in the present you're focused upon your being your existence things around you like you give more gratitude and in that sense that's really amazing because when you give gratitude you know more more is given to you but not only for that fact or matter it's just centering your life as one understand that if you're trying to manifest something something that happened right before this video something that happened right before me saying the present like it doesn't matter if something had happened to you last week and it had to do with your bank account and now you're over here struggling thinking you can't manifest money like come on it doesn't work like that things that happened in your past have nothing at all to do with you manifesting from this very moment moving forward i kind of hit a stir and hit like a roadblock I'm not even gonna call it a roadblock or a stir but like i was basically um on my journey to manifest something and i had went to a party and right after the party i was like blacked out like not even blacked out but like i just wasn't feeling myself for the next two days and i was like oh my god i'm not gonna manifest what i want like this is gonna be so much harder now like damn like i literally just went down five steps of stairs and i was going up five like you get what i'm trying to say here i thought that it blocked me and limited me so much and then i had my own epiphany and maybe my epiphany and i'm not even gonna say maybe my epiphany was definitely made for someone else to have an epiphany you know sent through the universe source and god but you got to understand that regardless from every single moment you've had in the past it does not matter within your present moment your present moment every single which is every single moment is really meant for you to honestly be the best version of yourself it's really meant for you to take acknowledgement of how you can manifest because let's be realistic guys you know the rundown as soon as you affirm for what you want you have it because you said so not only because you said so but you're the main character and what happens to the main character they're living their best life nothing gets in their way and when you are the main character regardless of what circumstance or situation you go through because yes the main character goes through multiple things within their reality understand that nothing and nothing is going to stop you you are the main character and you are the creator of your experience and even when it comes to things within your reality of you know manifesting things you may think are impossible you have to honestly realize and really put your mind over the concept that that's just a belief 
to get what you want, you have to understand you will have what you want. Not even have, you have everything that you truly desire within you. Once again, you have everything that you truly desire within you. And it's nowhere that you can try to get it from without. People oftentimes try to go out in the 3D physical, go out in the world, go out in the opportunities they're trying to manifest, and they try to control the scene. When in originality, you are the creator of your experience, you are the creator of your reality, but you have to honestly allow instead of forcing. When you're forcing something, it's not gonna work. When you're forcing something, you're causing you're putting too much confusion. Not only confusion, like you're not you're not manifesting, you're obsessing over something. When you are obsessing over something, that is a totally different scenario from manifesting. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put y'all on real quick and I'm gonna let y'all know that whatever you're trying to get, all you have to do is literally affirm your thoughts within having what you have and that is the end of the situation that's the end of the story that's the end of the journey like it's that simple and all you have to do is just persist in that it's not that hard it's not that complicated it's literally that simple i'm a living proof existence of that there are people online who are as well and some of your favorite songwriters and literally people up in the media who a lot of you guys may look up to literally believe that concept it's in every religion it's in every concept of belief what you want is yours already, and it's all about affirming and persisting within that notion. The law of assumption states whatever you assume, whatever you acquire, whatever you expect, whatever you allow yourself to attract is what you're going to be. If you really literally redirect your thoughts and what you're trying to manifest, you're going to get it. Like your 3D is going to have no choice but to show you a reflection of just that. Understanding that you not worrying about what happened in the past is a huge key tip because oftentimes people really be just messing up their manifestation. They be messing up their journey moving forward and there's not honestly no wrong way. Like you can't mess up your journey of manifestation because it just happens. But understanding that your past does not dictate what happens in your reality. Once again, your past does not dictate what happens in your reality. If you affirm and persist within what you want, Something that happened yesterday has nothing to do with it. Something that happened before this video had nothing to do with it. Something that happened years ago, seconds, like it doesn't matter. The present and moving forward within what you're trying to manifest is yours already. It's yours already. It's yours already. It's yours already. If you know something is yours, why are you going to question if you have it or not? Just because of something that happened. When we talk about manifesting, we talk about persisting, staying within the feeling of desirement. No matter what happens, you just have to understand that you have it and that that's it. Like if you're breathing, you're manifesting. If you're existing, you're manifesting. And you have to understand if you're going to give awareness to what happened as your past, that's just going to keep on reoccurring. Like that's just going to be the situation. That's going to be the scenario. And that's just going to be the story that, that's going to keep projecting itself to you. You allow how your reality is thrown towards you. If you allow to take on certain things that do not need to be taken on, baby girl, best believe that shit is going to pop right back up. Like, understand and stick within your desire, stick within your state, stick within your level of consciousness of what you want to be, what you want, what you're manifesting. Because I assure you 100 freaking percent, things that they maybe seem hard are not really hard. It's about how your mind is really wrapped around the idea of things. If you want what you want, you're going to get what the hell you want. But you have to understand the past has nothing to do with it. The past was never involved and the past isn't even real. Some people take the bad things that happen in their past and allow it to help them manifest moving forward. We are all capable. We are all more than deserving. We are all more than worthy. Like if the law of assumption doesn't describe that any better, I don't know what does. Whatever happened, regardless of how it happened, when it happened, you are the creator of your freaking experience. And you're going to get what you want when you want it because you said so. Like there's nothing that's going to get in your way. There literally is nothing that could possibly get in your way. Like, if you're really trying to manifest something, the only thing that could really stop you is yourself. Because it's all about just persisting in what you want. And if things, if someone is only going to try to comment on this video and talk about, okay, but what if this thing in the 3D is really, like, affecting my reality and my thinking and all this stuff. Manifest that away. Create affirmations to allow that situation not to come towards you. If you're going to sit here and be the type of person to say that affirmations aren't working for me or I don't really believe in affirmations or that's not like really like you have to understand it's not even about you believing in it. It's not even about it working like affirmations are literally your thoughts. Your thoughts are literally always reoccurring like you have thoughts as long as you're conscious. Even when you're not conscious, you have thoughts like that's something that's always within the human mind. And if you really did do the work which is affirming your thoughts, redirecting your thoughts, allowing your thoughts to go in the direction of whatever your manifestation is, allowing your thoughts to be the version of yourself that has it. What are you complaining about? Like, if you literally are complaining, that's just a red flag and that's a sign that you're not doing it. I'm not going to say you're not doing it, right? But you're just getting distracted. You're allowing your 3D, you're allowing the circumstances, you're allowing the issues that are happening in this reality to affect you. And honestly, we don't need none of that energy. We never needed that energy and we're not going to accept that energy because we understand 
that we are the main characters to honestly understand that anything that happened in the past has nothing to do with you and this present moment moving forward regardless if it happened before this video years ago months ago weeks ago minutes ago seconds ago it does not freaking matter because every moment moving forward you are the main character you are a master manifester and you're getting whatever you're putting in whatever you're feeding your thoughts is what you're going to have well, however you're redirecting your thoughts looking at situations allowing things to flow is how it's going to flow so there's really no way getting out of this you either take control or you either don't and allow things to happen and honestly you can manifest and you can affirm to be within the state of just allow as always just remember that you're the main character and that nothing at all and i mean nothing could ever make you think that you can't get what you want because you were the main character and because you decided to get what you want you affirmed and you, you persisted within that and not only persisting within that you understand that regardless of what the situation may be, regardless of the 3D, you still have what you want because you said so. Not only because you said so. Isn't it amazing to love how your life is just flowing in your favor? Isn't it amazing to not even having to worry about a single freaking thing? Like, you don't have to worry about a single, single freaking thing. Like, there's not one thing you need to worry about. Why? Because everything works in your favor. If everything works in your favor, like, people don't understand. You can cheat manifestation. Not only cheat, but, like, manifesting for you is just allowing things to happen. You live your regular life. You go about your day-to-day -day routines and schedule and habits. And you just know that it's going to work out. You just affirm within your head, I got what I want, I got what I want, I got what I freaking want. And that's just all to it. Like, there's no other way to do it. I mean, there is other ways. There's techniques and all these types of stuff. But you just automatically know that whatever you want is yours. And even when you're doing techniques, you're like, oh my god, like, this seems like a hard, like, you know, like, oh my god, like, my mind is playing games with me, all this bullshit. Understand that techniques are just there to help you stay in the wish desired. It doesn't mean you went five steps back because you did a technique. Even technique or no technique... Things that happened in your past have nothing to do with how you have what you have because you have it and because you said so and because you freaking manifested it. Like, there's no reason to fight with yourself. There's no reason to cause chaos. There's no reason for none of that shit because you're the main character, because you got what you want, because you, you affirmed for it and you manifested it. And honestly, you're a master manifester at this point. Everything flows in your favor because you said so, but not only because you said so, it's because you know that you're powerful. You know that you're limitless. You know that everything unfolds in your freaking favor. So like, honestly, it's only up from here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I created it with the intention for everybody that's listening to understand that their past has nothing to do with how their manifestation is. Why? Because you said so. And not only because you freaking said so, you're a powerful ass human being. You've been manifesting every single second of your life. So if you think that something from your past is going to affect you, it's only gonna affect you if you allow it to affect you babe because you know the past doesn't exist the past literally doesn't exist you are living the present the present is your past like the past does not exist and the only thing that matters is your present so take focus to your present and ignore the hell out of the past because you're a master manifester you get everything you want and you're a manifesting legend and honestly you have what you want you have what you want you have what you want thank you guys so much for watching this youtube video please be sure to like comment and turn that post notifications bell on to be notified every single time i post hit the butterfly in the corner to join the butterfly gang that is evolving experiencing and existing and manifesting within this human experience and without further ado i will see you guys in my next youtube video bye